This is the hammer strength isolateral decline press. The muscles it works is the chest or pectoralis major, anterior deltoid or front of the shoulder, and the back of the arm, the triceps. Because of the decline action on it, it puts more of an emphasis towards the lower part of the chest. I mentioned it's an isolateral machine as well. What this means is there's two loading points on the machine and that both the lever arms work independently of each other. The action of the isolateral decline press is the action of pushing somebody away in a sporting situation, pushing something such as a, a shopping around the shopping mall. If the isolateral loading means that it can be used in multiple different ways. It can be used with two arms, a single arm, or an alternating action. What this does, by using it in a single arm mode, it increases our rotational force production in a forward direction, along with increasing the stability of the spine through increasing strength of the core muscles. If we have a look at the setup for this machine, Firstly, we mentioned it's isolateral, so there's two loading points. Make sure that you put the same weight on each side if that's what you desire. We're then ready to set the seat up. Set the seat up to such a position that the handles are located towards the lower part of the chest. Once we're there, we're ready to set down. When in the seated position, make sure the bum is back and the back is along the back pad holding the handles so the hands are just outside of the torso width apart. Keeping your chin up, chest high and stomach braced, push the handles out and away so that the elbow follows the line of the handle down to the bottom range. Control back until the elbow reaches just near the side of the shoulder. Push out and away so the elbow follows the line of the handle to bottom range and control back so the elbow reaches just near the side of the shoulder. Repeat this for the desired number of repetitions. As we mentioned, there's the isolateral component to the machine, so we can also use a single hand action. When using the single hand action, we have the hand across the stomach to remind us to stabilise, and we push out and away so the elbow follows the line of the handle to bottom range. Controlling back once again till the elbow reaches just the side of the shoulder, and push down and away so the elbow follows the line of the handle to bottom range. This pushing movement increases our strength or power in that rotational movement as well as increasing the strength of the core to stabilize the spine. We can also use it in an isolateral alternating action. This is where we push one hand out and away and as that comes back the other hand moves out. What this does is it changes the loading from the stabilizing muscles from side to side. Just the way it works in the real world where we don't know when we're going to have to change or contract the muscles. Also, when somebody's coming back from injury, you can use an uneven weight. The uneven weight will allow the individual to produce or use less weight on one side compared to the other. Some of the common mistakes with this activity is when people are pushing with a single handle action they allow their torso to rotate away or they will lean away to try and help stabilize themselves. Try to make sure the body is com completely symmetrical when performing the activity. Keep the core braced and the shoulder down. One other common mistake is people will allow the elbow to drift into the side because it makes them more stable. Make sure the elbow follows the line of the handle through to the top bottom range of motion.